Images shared to social media show Belgian security forces armed with a combination of handheld anti-drone weapons to protect a meeting between U.S. President Joe Biden and King Philip of Belgium held on Monday, June 14. From the images, it can be deciphered that two different types of anti-drone systems were deployed, a non-kinetic one and another a kinetic one. The deployment of these two systems simultaneously indicates how much security forces are concerned about drone attacks on high-value targets. This has actually opened a new dimension and is a major headache for security forces. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how U.S. President Joe Biden is being protected from drone attacks. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The proliferation of drone tech is turning out to be a major challenge for militaries around the world. On September 14, 2019, the facilities of Saudi Arabia's oil company, Aramco, located in the east of the country, came under attack. The world's biggest oil refinery near the city of Abqiq and a refinery near Quraysh, where Saudi's second largest oil field is located, were targeted. As per reports, the raid began around 4 a.m. And drones, as well as cruise missiles, were used in the attack. There were 18 drones and 7 missiles. The drones were able to evade the air defense and cause a lot of damage. At the presentation, Becca Schwartz, who leads strategy for Lockheed Martin Counter UAS, pointed to, among other things, the spectacular displays of drone swarms in the Olympics as an example of just how much commercial tech can offer for potential terrorist or military swarming. Schwartz added, accessibility to the hobbyist means that it's accessible to the adversary. Let's check the two anti-drone weapons one by one. Drone Gun Tactical, made by Australian firm Drone Shield. It's large for a gun, 56 inches long, 18 inches tall and 8 inches wide, and it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. It weighs just 16 pounds or 7.25 kilograms loaded with two rechargeable 14.4-volt lithium battery packs. Using radio frequency or RF jamming to disrupt operator links, it can take out drones more than a kilometer away. The operator just needs to maintain a line of sight. When fully charged, it can work an hour or two of straight jamming, more than enough to take down a dozen unmanned aerial vehicles. The system has already been used in an actual scenario. According to a company press release, combined elements of the Presidential Security Group PSG, and FISGOC Game Safety and Security Counter Drone Team from Safer PH Innovations, Drone Shield's Philippines partner, successfully disabled seven commercial drones during the opening ceremony of the 30th Southeast Asian Games held in Philippine Arena, Ciudad de Victoria, on the 30th of November, 2019. As per reports, four drones appeared along the flight path of the presidential helicopter minutes before his arrival, which prompted the PSG to deploy the drone shield systems to prevent the drones from hitting the rotor blades of the helicopter and causing a crash that would endanger the life of Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte. Skywall Patrol is made by UK-based OpenWorks Engineering. The system gives a mobile operator the ability to physically capture a drone in a net. 
It can be used in conjunction with electronic countermeasures for a layered defense, or in scenarios where an electronic attack cannot be used. OpenWorks states that the Skywall is a more effective solution to bring down drones than other kinetic solutions because conventional weapons often fail to incapacitate a drone and do not offer a proportionate response to the drone threat. As per the manufacturer, it uses compressed air to launch a projectile up to the drone after the operator has targeted it, using the onboard smart scope, which compensates for drone speed and range automatically. The intelligent projectile splits in half when in close proximity to the drone and deploys a net to capture it. The projectiles contain a parachute to guide the drone safely to the ground. OpenWorks has developed different kinds of projectiles for the system – SP-10, SP-40, SP-90, TR-10, and TR-40 – having different usage. The company also states that Skywall Patrol can be used as a standalone drone defense solution but can also be integrated with a wider security system using the Skylink module to offer a highly capable counter-drone package. A single Skywall patrol system can protect an area or multiple systems can be deployed from mobile units to protect a large site. Drones have been used in the past for potential assassination attempts on world leaders. In 2018, a drone exploded in the air above Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro when he was giving a speech in front of a large crowd. A stampede ensued and left seven Venezuelan National Guardsmen injured. Drone swarm technology is being nurtured by many nations for combat use. The technology of swarming is in which drones, as well as smart munitions, will be deployed in squadrons, able to think independently and operate as a pack using artificial intelligence AI. This concept will allow thousands of independent units to act as one and home in on the target in a collaborative fashion. It's evident that drones are set to play an important role in the coming days. In this situation, it's essential that proper counter-drone systems are available to security forces. Drone Gun Tactical and Skywall Patrol are not only excellent standalone solutions, but complement each other well.